to the Square Kilometre Array Telescope have been released. The biggest part of the SKA is being built at a Carnivon in the Northern Cape. The Meerkat is operating at only a fraction of the power that the SKA will operate. And scientists are looking forward to what the world's biggest radio telescope will be able to reveal about the universe. At less than a quarter of the power the SKA will have, the 16 dishes of Meerkat have already made a discovery. Its first light image found 1,300 galaxies in a region in the sky, previously thought to only have 70. It's an exciting time for scientists attached to the SKA project. And it has only just begun. Round about August next year, when we will have 32 antennas linked into an array, that's when we're going to open it up for early science by the scientific community. And then by March 2018, we'll have the full 64 open. Scientists from around the world will focus on five research large survey projects once the SKA is up and running. They'll study hydrogen, magnetism and the holy grail of science to test the relevance of Einstein's theory of relativity. Another field of study is the big question, whether or not we are alone in the universe. What you're looking at is a, not just for South Africans, but a fantastic scientific opportunity for the whole world, which here in the Northern Cape we're able to offer these wonderful viewing conditions. This is a resource that South Africa has to offer its scientists and to the other scientists in the world. While the SKA's main focus is unravelling the secrets in the sky, it has also developed related fields. There's been huge advances in the fields of engineering and data processing, as they construct the biggest, most sensitive scientific tool to date. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Knaven, Northern Cape.